This is Kate Crane with another video for the Gel Press Printer Project series. Now today I am playing with um, a plastic. This is the Duralar Matte Film. It looks like this. It's quite sturdy, quite resilient and it's fantastic for printing on. It's a little bit like acetate but paint sits and stays really well once you've got it on there. I've cut mine down into these um, smaller size pieces and I'm using just some really simple layering techniques so that I can then create this kind of thing. So I've got some greetings cards here, little arty cards and I've used quite a lot of neon as you can see so nice and bright. Put a couple of these smaller ones into my journal, just laid them up there with a bit of stitching. And this medium is also great for creating little decorative objects for the house. So I've made a little um, sleeve for a candle holder with this strip of plastic. So come and join me, let's have a go at printing on plastic. So I've taken a sheet of the matte film, you can see that's a, a, a nice sturdy weight. Um, I've cut it into squares of about 8 centimetres. And this is the strip actually that was left along the edge. So I'm going to print on this also. I've cut it into small centimetres so I can put this on greetings cards and perhaps layer it in my journal as well. I'm going to start with reflex rose. Um, it seems like a really bright neon and, and it is but as a, as a thin layer to start with it's not as bright as you would think. I'm just cutting some stencils out of some regular cartridge paper. They don't have to be neat, they don't have to be accurate. Keep the positive and the negative. So to add pattern through a stencil, I've picked out a circle stencil. Circles always sit well on top of circles. I'm going to start adding some yellow, but this time I'm going to brave it on the mat, first of all, just because I get a more even spread of paint through the stencil. I'm going to go back on with some of this reflex rose just so I'll get a nice kind of neon pop back on the top layers. I want a contrast colour now because this is sitting as a top layer, it's not going to create mud, it's not blending with anything, it'll just add a pop of contrast on the top. So I've picked out a sky blue, I'm going to go through a stencil, but I've also cut this little mask here to add a little scalloped edge. 